Hi, I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. Are you looking for the ultimate weekend getaway machine? One where you have plenty of room inside, a lot of room outside, and it all comes in under 24 feet? We are in that motorhome right now. This is the Gemini 23 TE, and this is what it looks like with the slide in. You can see you have plenty of room to get right up to the cockpit, which we will do because I love driving these Ford EcoBoost. This is all wheel drive, a lot of great safety features. You step back behind the sofa, there are seat belts in the sofa, and here you are. You can access your 12 volt fridge. You can take and you can get into the kitchen. You can step into the bath. This bath, unbelievably roomy. It's in the rear. It's huge. Everything about this coach is awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up the engine. It's already running and the parking brake is on because you need to do that in order to put your slide wall out. And we're going to put this slide out. This is our Murphy bed, by the way. We head right over to Rapid Camp. I am going to do that right from here. You go one, two, the third button down and you go to slides and you go to extend and the slide will come right out. The other features on this page are for the TV and for the awnings. This takes no time at all for this wall to go out. And as it goes out, look at all the room you have here and you'll see two places in the floor. That is where your pedestal table will go. We're gonna set that up for you and we are gonna do some living here in our Gemini 23 TE. You know, while I'm here, let's just go over some of the features of Rapid Camp and we'll do that rather quickly here. You go right to your home screen here, check your tank levels, turn on your lights, all on or off, adjust your water pump from here, next button down, turn on your water pump, turn on your tank heaters. We'll show you how to connect to camp when we hook up, when we go out for our exterior tour. But again, just another way to quickly check on your tank levels. We are just on the third button down, slides, TV, and awning. Fourth button down, climate, AC. You can take and turn on your AC, high, cool, auto. Adjust the climate to your liking. Fourth button down, lights. You can take and dim the lights everywhere in the coach. Then you go to your generator. You have an auto gen start on here. You can start your generator. You can stop your generator from here. You can check on your solar controller. 100 watts of solar charging comes standard on your Gemini. You can take and look at your solar history. So it's a great way to keep track of the charge coming in on a bright sunny day on your travels. You can go into settings and then you can take and you can adjust the auto gen start to your liking, uh, the run time, the quiet time, what triggers do you want to use, and then you can go back home at any point. What's nice is down below we do have some hard buttons here, so as this is warming up, you can go ahead and you can turn on your lights just by pressing the one, two, three, and four button, and then this pad over here, awning slides, because it's an Android tablet, and it takes a while to get going, just like you do when you get older, right? You got the bad knee, you got to warm it up. Okay, it's, maybe it's not like that, but you have the hard buttons down below, which helps you out. And then the last button, your fans for your kitchen and your bath, everything controlled from here. And because you can connect to the cloud now. So as long as your Gemini has a Wi-Fi connection and you do, you can sign up for the cloud and now you can control your lights and your climate no matter where you happen to be. Quick look at Rapid Camp Plus. Again, phone, you'll use it when you're outside. We'll go ahead and we'll throw out our awning when we set up camp. But how about we do some indoor living? I'm gonna close the door here and we are going to explore everything in our Gemini. For 2023, you can get your Gemini in this beautiful home collection, these nice off-white cabinets with the black hardware. And new for 2023, what you see here, this is Silver Point with Uptown Gray techno form cabinets these are optional you can't go wrong with either choice they both make your gemini look fabulous first let's talk about the room in here you can see with your slide out you have plenty of room to get into everywhere to get everywhere you want in this coach you can sit down how about uh, how about we watch a little tv from here right so the tv is on a televator you can control that through rapid camp plus here's what it looks like when it is up and go ahead kick back watch a show, watch a movie, stream whatever you like, and you can plug in right from here. You do have 
an HDMI cable, so you can plug in a gaming device, you can plug in a streaming device, and you can connect to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. That is how your Gemini will get its internet when you have your RapidCamp Plus connected. We talked about being connected to an internet source. There you go, WineGuard Connect. Easy to set up. You can use your carrier, just insert a SIM card. You can set up a data plan through WineGuard. And now you have your own 4G hotspot. It is also a Wi Fi extender. So you're going to get a little better range and better signal when you are set up at camp and you want to pull in the Wi Fi signal close to wherever you are. And that same secure password that you set up through the initial phases is going to work for that. So it's a great feature to have on board internet wherever you happen to go. Let's talk about this sofa here. 67 inch sofa, more than a sofa. It is your dining table. You do have a couple of legs that store right back here in this spacious closet we will show you. And you just take and you unscrew the, the feet and then you lock them down. And once you have them in place, this is what the table looks like. You can see easily sit two here. You have cup holders. Now what's really nice is the table stores right here under the sofa. Look at that. Right there under the sofa, so when you're done, the table stores away, you push that down, and now you have your sofa again. You wanna sleep? That's not a problem. Right here, Murphy bed. Really easy to use, there's a handle right over here. First you move your cushions, you set those out of the way, and then you pull the handle, and then you take and put down the footrest, and then you put down the mattress. You can see you get some nice support there. So it's a comfortable night's sleep. Look at that, your Murphy bed, queen size Murphy bed. One of the questions people are probably asking right now, can you use that with the slide? And the answer is no, your wall does need to go out when you are done in the morning. Real easy, you just fold everything back into place. Tuck your sheet down, latch that right back into place put your cushions in place here. They have a nice little cutout for them right there. And here you go. You are back in to sofa mode. 80 inch ceiling, by the way. So a lot of room to walk around and create. What's nice about this TV, because it's retractable, when it's up, you're watching TV. When it's down, you have this nice window here. Uh, you do have roller shades too for privacy, or you can use it as a little counter space, right? So you want to set the table, or you want to at least get ready. You can take the dishes out of the cabinets here. You set those off to the side. And we do have a ton of cabinet space up here. Let's talk about storage, because you can fit everything in here. So up top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cabinets. Then down below, you can use this as a pantry. Let's open up this pantry down here. Here we go. So you know over here you have your snacks, you have you have your little delicious chocolates and jams and jellies down here. Maybe you keep a couple extra towels or pot holders over here in the middle. Your coffee bar. Are you in an amaretto mood, a mocha mood, or maybe you just want some coffee to whip up? Then you have your cereal shelf over here. And down below you do have your fuse box. And this is where you're going to find your 12 volt and 110 fuses. It is accessible with the slide in. So if you would ever need to reset a fuse, that is right under here. So a lot of storage space in this Gemini. One step over, we are into this kitchen. The kitchen is a great setup here. You have your two burner gas cooktop, easy to light. You just turn it to light, you hit the ignition, you can hear it. And then when your propane is on, you will be cooking with gas. How about we take a look at this large single bowl sink. There is a cover that goes in place here. You do have this nice pull down sprayer and plenty of places to charge your phone. Right over here, this pop-up outlet has USB-C, USB-A, a couple of 110s, and when it is down, it is a wireless charging, if your phone supports wireless charging. So who's hogging this one? Well, that's all right. Somebody can hog this one all they want because you have another wireless charger right over here. You also have USB-A and USB-C ports in that charger as well. The phone is now charging. Down below, more storage. One, two, three more drawers. Four drawers, you have a cabinet, room for a wastebasket, and you have 
your convection microwave. So instead of an oven, you have this convection microwave. Use it as a microwave or hit the convect button and now you are baking, you are cooking, you are using this as an air fryer. It's a the best of both worlds, microwave, air fryer, convection microwave, I like to call it. It is, it's the same thing. It blows the, the hot air around and then you have your two burner gas cooktop. Moving over here, how about our 12 volt fridge? Now, you do need to take and turn your battery disconnect switch on. That is on the entryway when you come in. We'll show you more when we start to walk around the outside, but turn that 12 volt switch on and keep it on because it will fire up your fridge and all the 12 volt systems in your Gemini. And then we will take and plug into shore power when we do our exterior walkthrough. Books, magazines down here. You have another drawer, another drawer, another drawer, and an incredibly large closet. So a nice large closet in here vent fans here you have a vent fan there in between your 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit and then as we step into the bath a nice bathroom back here so much room you have large medicine cabinets above the sink next to that maybe you want to throw some towels in here or more soaps you do have your uh, foot flush toilet down here you do have storage under the sink and you do have your 24 by 36 shower and you see the little blue right there on the hot and cold water that is for your shower miser what a great feature to have when you are out dry camping this way when you want a hot shower and you turn the water on you're not taking and waiting and for that water to get hot and it's just filling up your gray tank with the shower miser you turn the valve you turn your hot water on now the hot water or the cold water at least at the beginning is not coming out of the shower head filling up your gray tank it's just recirculating when the water heats up tankless hot water on this by the way which is nice once that heats up this blue pipe turns to this bluish whitish gray color now you know you have hot water so the hot water's flowing you have tankless hot water everybody go and clean up for the night so that is the bathroom back here uh, we talked about your tankless hot water we talked about your vents your storage your residential easy to clean vinyl flooring your sofa your cabinets your storage rapid camp plus oh, one more place before i head up front the seat does swivel over here on the passenger side there's a booster so another nice additional seating area the captain's chair the parking brake is there because the unit does need to be on with the parking brake set in order you to put, put uh, in order for you to put out the slide and so now what we're going to do is walk up front and we're going to take and walk through the great amazing features of this ford transit all wheel drive so as we walk up front one of the things i really like about the transit chassis is it is a secure driving experience because it is all-wheel drive intelligent all-wheel drive and that is backed up by a 10-speed transmission and the 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6, 310 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. You will, you know what you're going to do. You are going to put the hammer down, right? You have a tow haul mode on this. So it is a great driving machine. You have a sure-footed, secure driving experience no matter where you happen to go, whether it is a, you know really, really wet roads or whether there's snow. It's great to have the safety and peace of mind of all-wheel drive. And there are other safety features as well. You have adaptive cruise control. You have advanced track with roll stability control. You have side wind stabilization, heated remote mirrors. You have hill start assist. You have a lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, post-collision braking, rain sensing windshield wipers. You also have 911 assist. So it is loaded with safety, loaded with storage up here. You have cup holders everywhere. You have USB-C ports, you have 12 volt ports, you have USB-A ports, and all of that is going to help you with the new SYNC 4. This system is absolutely amazing. It is voice activated, so you can go ahead and talk to it. You can set up your phone. Uh, it will read your text for you out loud. You can respond. Oh my gosh, you go through the settings here. You can choose your modes, which is a great feature. I love choosing, do I want normal? Do I want eco? Do I want slippery? Do I want tow haul? Am I driving through sort of a 
off the beaten path campground and I need the mud and ruts, you can do that. Now there are not hard buttons per se on the dashboard for your AC that is all integrated into this very large touchscreen. So you can turn it to auto, turn on your heat, all your functions right from there. Uh, up top, you do have your rear view mirror that is always on. So that is going to be your backup camera. We'll show you where that is located as well. Everything you wanna do, you can do from here, including use it as your GPS. Now you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this. Now there is not RV specific navigation into this Gemini, into the Sync 4, but because you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you can use the app of your choice and the navigation system of your choice to get your RV wherever it is you wanna go. Or if you'd like to try Road Pass Pro, that is included for one year free with the purchase of your Gemini. It's four apps in one. So it's Campendium, RV Village, Road Trippers, and Togo RV. You get your RV specific navigation through here. It is a great social network. If you are into social networking and wanna connect with other people who love to travel as much as you do, this is a great way to do that. You can ask them for their thoughts on campgrounds, or maybe they're gonna dis you're gonna discover new places because somebody said, if you're driving by here, check this out. You happen to be driving by there. You check that out and you have enjoyed it. It is Road Pass Pro and that comes free for one year. So a lot of great features inside. Oh, one more before I head out. I wanna talk about the emergency start. You also have emergency start on here and what emergency start is going to do in the event that your chassis battery dies, you can take and use your house battery to jumpstart your Gemini. All you have to do is hit the emergency start button and you turn the key. And then what will happen is it will draw power from your house battery into your chassis. And now you have successfully started your Gemini to head out on grand adventure. So let's go ahead and kill the motor. Say we are at our own grand adventure. Let's set up camp and show you how easy this Gemini is to use. Let me fire this baby back up because I do want to put the slide in to show you around outside. We have 21.3 cubic feet of storage on this and it's easy to show you all the features and functions with the slide in. So I'm going to start this back up. Remember the rules for your slide wall, engine running, parking brake on, go over to Rapid Camp Plus. You're going to hit the retract button. As this goes in, one more feature I want to point out. You do have a beautiful power skylight right here. The button for that is right above in between the driver and passenger seat. This takes no time at all to slide on in. And once it's in, I'm going to go ahead and kill the engine. And now, now we're set to walk outside. So we talked about the power plant under the hood. Love driving this EcoBoost. Heated remote mirrors. We have our beautiful color scheme here. This is called Starliner. Now this is going to be on our Sterling HD Max. The HD Max is the same color fiberglass all the way through. So what that means is in the event, and it will happen, and the first scratch is always the worst, right? If it does get a little scratched, that color will be all the way through. So you're not gonna get a different color under the fiberglass. You have two colors of HD Max and you have two colors of full body paint as an option. The one we have here to show you is called Moonwalk and that is a full body Sickens paint. Absolutely beautiful. The great thing about Sickens paint is that it never fully cures and so it's not gonna spider web on you. It's used in high-end performance vehicles and high-end motorhomes like your Gemini 23 TE. As we're talking about the sidewalls, the way we put these together, we use the inner wall board, which we showed you, then the aluminum frame, and then the black foam insulation, and then we use our fiberglass. We use an adhesive, we put those together, they go into a giant sleeve, and then they go into the lamination machine, if you will, and it sucks all the air out of it, and it sits in there for about a half an hour. You come out with a durable, solid structure. We do vacuum bonding lamination for our ceiling, for our roof. 
for our sidewalls and for our floor. And that is why we can back your Gemini up with a 12 year structural, six year lamination and one year limited warranty. You do have a one piece cross flex roof up top as well. Very durable, easy to clean, puncture resistant. So just a solid vehicle through and through. I do wanna show you one item of note as you are getting ready to go away. Be aware that the occupant and cargo carrying capacity on this 23TE is 1,749 pounds. That is going to be a very important number for you. That is how much you can carry inside. 23 feet, we talked about that, under 24 feet, 23 feet, 23 feet, 7 inches on your Gemini 23TE. As we walk down the side here, you have these nice windows, a lot of natural light over here on the campsite. They do open awning style. There's a top hinge up here. So you just turn the knob inside. We showed you the roller blinds, right? So you can pull the roller blinds at night. You can open the windows and you can get some nice ventilation going through there. Down below, you do have one storage bay on this side. Right now we do have our 30 amp shore power cord in there and we will show you how to hook that up when we go over to the business end of the Gemini exterior propane connection. Right here you can take and hook up a gas grill, you can hook up a portable fire pit. Your propane does need to be on in order to use your propane connection and it needs to be on for your furnace couple of 110 outlets out here so let's set the scene you got your grill hooked up maybe you have a table you have a blender you're whipping up some margaritas but it's a bright sunny day like today the sun is in your eyes you have the power of rapid camp plus on your phone go ahead pull up the awning page hit extend one touch the awning will come out you have beautiful led lights into the arm of the awning your awning is now out, casting a great amount of shade for you at your campground. At those LEDs also make for a nice night light. In the event there is wind or Mother Nature is just not playing nice with your day and you have the awning out, it will automatically retract in the event you happen to be just out on a little excursion, but it is always recommended that you take and you put your awning in. As we move on down, our generator, your generator is gonna need to be on to use these plugs or you're gonna need to be plugged into shore power. Nice thing about having your owning quiet gas 4,000 watt generators, you can power all of the systems in your Gemini. Everything in here can run while you have your generator on, including your air conditioning. That way your passenger with you can sit on that nice sofa we showed you and have a nice comfortable cabin for the ride. As we work our way around back, a couple of items I do wanna point out. We talked about the always on camera in the rear view mirror. That is the lens for it. So a nice view behind you, especially when you have something hooked up to your 5,000 pound hitch. You do have a seven pin and a four pin connector. So keep in mind when you are towing, you wanna take your gross combined weight rating. You're gonna find that on thormotorcoach.com, your GCWR. And then you take and subtract that from your gross vehicle weight. And now what you have left is how much you can tow behind your Gemini. A lot to talk about on the business end. We're gonna hook up and set up camp, plumbing, electrical, everything you need for a great time. What I like about what I call the business end of the Gemini, I get to play with props. So we're gonna go ahead and get camp hooked up. That way you can enjoy your Gemini. This is a quick walkthrough of how to set up camp here. We're gonna start right here up top. If you love TV, you can connect cable. All you have to do is plug in your coax there, then run it to the campground. Remember we showed you where that HDMI plug was in the cabinet for TV? That is where you're gonna find the cable connection as well. But you need power, right? So you don't want to run your generator 24 seven, especially at a campground. We showed you how to set the quiet time on Rapid Camp Plus, but how about we get some 30 amp shore power here? You can keep the plug in any bay you want because it's detachable. I love that. All you have to do is line up the pegs and then you take and you twist your lock on and then you go ahead and go to the receptacle. Make sure the breakers are off. Plug in, turn your receptacle on. Boom, in just a matter of seconds, you will have power to your Gemini. It is gonna take a while because you have a transfer switch in here and what that is going to do is determine where the power is coming from. Is it from your shore power? Is it from your generator? Once it makes up its mind, you will know. I always like to use the microwave beep as the key. You'll hear beep, you'll know you have power. Lots happening right here. You wanna flush your tank, 
do it here. Want to fill up your fresh tank with city water? Want to fill up your fresh tank right here or use city water? Well, you can do that right from here. You do have 31 gallons of fresh water. You can take and put your hose in here. Use a hose for potable water. When it's full, there's a little vent. The water will trickle out. Now you have your fresh tank full. Want to connect to the campsite? Just take and hook your hose up right here. Then you run it over to your campground and you turn it on and now you have water. Remember when you are running off your fresh water tank you need to use your water pump. When you are running off city water you can turn your water pump off. Then right down below we are going to hook up some plumbing. All right so this is our black and gray tank. You have a couple of low point drains in here. You can drain your fresh water tank from here. Real easy to hook up. You do have to just take a hose like this and you run that and you hook that up. Now you do have a 19 and a half gallon black tank and a 37 gallon gray tank. Once that's hooked up, just twist and lock. You run the other end into the campsite. You go ahead, you pull your black handle, you pull your gray handle and guess what? You just emptied your tanks. It's that easy. Setup is that easy. As we walk on down, tankless hot water. We showed you where to set that in the bathroom. Remember you have shower miser. Everybody gets a hot shower except for that one person at camp. You know the one. The one you're like, you're not coming to the campsite like that. No way. They can shower out here. You have an exterior shower. Obviously, you know, rinse off. Let's just say that. I don't, I don't want you thinking, what kind of camp are you going to, Steve? No, this is a family. This is a family video. We do have hot, cold exterior shower. What's nice is you can swivel it like that. It comes off. You can rinse off so you're not the stinky person inside the Gemini. You do have the exhaust right here for your furnace. As we move down, we do have a couple of large storage bays. This one right here can hold just about anything you want. Remember, 21.3 cubic feet of storage in your Gemini. You have all that storage inside, though. And then down below, you have this nice rotocast storage bay. If you have something that's kind of wet, maybe you're wrapping up, you want to get one last trip into the beach, throw the wet towels in here. This is really easy to rinse out. Notice the slide wall is here. You see this? This is going to be the brains for the slide. So in the event something isn't happening, you can try to manually take and get the motors in sync. You just take and it's up. If you retract it, you hit extend one, two, three, four, five, six, and the motors will sync up. But if there's something more involved, there's a light right here that will flash. You read the codes here and then you go ahead and reset it according to the little chart right there. So that is where that is going to be on your 23 TE. Right over here is our propane tank. Remember, your propane does need to be on for the exterior propane connection and for your uh, furnace. Fill it up and enjoy your propane tank. Want to fill up? Yeah, you're going to need to fill up. This is regular unleaded 25 gallon gas tank goes right in here. Real easy to remember where the fuel fill is. It is on the driver's side right at the door entry. And what's nice is it's with the door shut safety. So no one's going to take and do anything to your to your gas tank or you know, whatever it is, siphon gas for me. It's, it's nice and secure. And this is your Gemini 23 TE. I love driving these. They are fun to just take anywhere. Because of the size, you can fit them just about anywhere. You can even take it into town. You can park it on the side of the street and explore new places. You can go anywhere because of the all wheel drive and go anywhere. I suggest you get out there and explore. There's never been a better time than right now to hit the road in your Gemini 23 TE. I appreciate you being with us today. I'm Steve Duval, and we will see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800 335 6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process 
to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?